All right, folks, today we're going to put the P47D up against the FW190D. So let's unpause and get on with it. Okay, so even though we have reduced fuel quite a bit, we are still heavier than the 190, but neither of our aircraft are really made for this, for turn fighting. But we are probably a better turn fighter than the 190, or we should be at least, because they were an interceptor, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's all the way down there. Plus I got the new joystick as well, so I should be a lot more precise on the controls. Just gotta keep a visual on him, try and get behind him. this thing over I don't know what speed I'm doing we're pulling some real high G though holy crap these G's are high no idea what speed oh 400 mile an hour okay that's uh, that is very very fast Great thing, uh, one of the good things about this new joystick is I've got all my zoom controls just under my thumb so I don't have to take my hands off the stick to do all this zooming in and visualizing and stuff. Even though the 190s aren't that manoeuvrable, they are still very fast, so... Well... The uh, button that I've got assigned to the water injection system is also assigned to move my seat up and down. So... That's why it went down accidentally just then. It's still a bit too far away to be accurate with the guns. We also have a reduced uh, amount of ammo here. I received a comment in the previous video about oh, pilots not realistically taking 3,400 rounds, so I reduced it to 75%. Get it closer to uh, like 2650 or something. Okay. We are a bit far here still. I could potentially give it a shot they were going to miss. Still need to get closer to them. use the water injection system a bit more. See if we can get closer to him this way. No, they're just going behind him. Should be able to get him at this range, but it'll be tricky. Oh, we hit him then once. I only need to get one round through his radiator and then it'll be done. But at this range, it's quite tricky. I'll just zoom in a bit more.
<laughs> didn't need to fire then, that would have been a miss anyway. We've got around about the same amount of fuel as well. Uh, although we are on the inside of him, so we should be getting a bit closer to him. Oh, there's a couple of good hits. He's leaking something. going behind him by the looks of it. Still we did some damage to him which is good. It's our temperature's doing, everything's doing all right. That's good. Oh yeah he's in a bad way now. I reckon that might be a victory for us but still we'll see what he does. He's definitely leaking something. Down to 250 mile an hour. Yeah, I think he might be faster than us now. What is that sound? Are we just going faster? Is something broken? Honestly, not sure. Oh. That's not good. I really need to reduce the engine temperature. Oh no. No, we buggered the engine. We did get him though. Or well, we definitely hit him with something. That wasn't good. Maybe I ran the engine too hard for too long. I'm not entirely sure. I did a test against the 190, but the engine didn't stuff up. Hang on, we'll just see what happened there. It, uh, yeah, it did overheat. We had, um, these were both open. Hmm. We did hit him, and he's definitely leaking something. I think I'm actually going to go again. We'll do, we'll do that round again. Okay, so he's right there. He's going down. We're gonna stay up. I don't wanna to gain too much altitude though. Oh, he's gone the whole way down. I reckon I'll reduce RPM. I don't know where he is. That isn't good. Oh, there he is, right down there, okay.
Okay, temperatures are all decent. How is he doing that? We're going a bit slow here. Maybe I need to open the cowlings or something. I'm not sure. I don't have a button assigned for that either, so that's going to be a bit tricky. Can't really see the ocean too well either. There's not much detail in it at the moment. Okay, there he is. Have you knackered your plane, little FW190? I don't know. I hope we don't knacker our plane going flat out to try and catch up to him. Although we weren't flat out for most of that engagement up until now, so I don't know. Okay, we should be gaining a decent amount of speed at the moment. Yeah. Let's keep them about there. Should be turning well and truly on the inside of them. Check our speeds at 300 miles an hour. Our temperatures and everything's doing pretty good. Hopefully we can get him this time. I have done a couple of dogfights against the 190Ds and have managed to get a sufficient number of shots on to basically take him out pretty quickly, but he does seem to be causing us some problems now. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Doing 300 mile an hour. I don't think we can keep the engine flat out for more than like a few minutes or something. I'm not entirely sure though. Okay, let's get some more speed. I see him right at the top of the frame there in the center window. I should probably go through the manual. 
Actually, that would be a good idea. Figure out what the optimal temperatures are for like the cylinder heads and all the other stuff. Probably should have done that before I even begun this series. But anyway, there's time after this video. Doing 300 mile an hour, so we've got plenty of cooling. We've got the them both open. But we are below him though. What about the carburetor temperature? I don't know what that, um, what impact that has on like uh, engine performance or something at this time. I really should read through the manual. Yeah, I don't think this is going too well uh, for us. Maybe we need to try a different tactic. What he's doing now is he just running away or is he gonna turn around and come for us again plus reducing rpm and pressure it's gonna reduce temperatures and uh, fuel consumption as well I lost him against the sea I got no idea where he is anymore Oh, he's right there, okay. Why he turned right in front of me? Oh, we're we just going to do the whole run away thing again. I mean, that's probably what you would do if you were in a, a 190D and you came up against a, a P47, you'd probably just run away. Yeah, I'm not actually convinced that we're gonna, we're gonna get him. This is gonna go on a long time. Might blow up the engine again, hopefully not. I don't know. Maybe we should have held our attitude at the beginning of the match. Not entirely sure. Okay, let's try keeping an eye on him again. See if he turns around. If he goes head on, 
but we may have a chance as well. we will gain some altitude. We're still doing 250 mile an hour, so we should be able to gain a decent amount of altitude at this sort of speed. Okay. This is going to be a pretty lengthy video. We're just too far away to be accurate. Even with the gyro sight, which I haven't mucked around with too much, I usually just use fixed sight and get close to them and blast them, but that's proven pretty tricky with this. Well, even though we haven't shot him down, we haven't been shot down. We did land a few shots on him in the first match, but engine overheated before we could actually see the demise of the 190. All temperatures are doing pretty good still. We've still got a decent amount of fuel left as well. Oh, God, something... Low uh, fuel level warning lights on. Uh, well, you know, oh, oh, God. Well, uh, I reckon I'm actually going to leave this one there. Oh. Look at that. I'm my temperatures are just going up. I can hear the engine winding down. We've got the coolant open. Yeah, it's, it's going again. Yeah, there, there goes the engine in. I honestly don't know why. I, I'm actually not sure uh, any more of this. I guess before I do the next, the next match, which will be up against the uh, Mosquito, I'm going to go through the manual. I'm going to look at the look at what's required to keep the P47 alive because I, I I really like the P47 it's an absolutely magnificent thing to fly but as you can tell I have difficulties keeping the engine alive <laughs> but also the first time I ever flew the P47 I overheated the engine and it died in a matter of minutes well uh I haven't Oh, yeah, there he is, actually, and just found him. Yeah, that... I might have to redo this one uh, after I've redone the I-16 video towards the end of this series. See what's going on, go through the manual, whatever. If you know what's, what's going on, what I should do to avoid knackering my engine, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. But anyway, that's enough of DCS for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, or at least, um, I don't know, what else would you do if you don't enjoy it? You probably just wouldn't even watch it at that point. Anyway, I'll catch you next time.